coming to you from the hotel room in San Antonio, Texas, and it's freezing cold outside. Who knew in Texas? I know, I thought I was coming from the north to go south for it to be warm, but I flew into the snow to fly back to the warm weather where I'm going tomorrow, <laughs> back home. <laughs> Where's home? Florida, yeah. North no. Florida, it's chilly, it's chilly. We wear jackets sometimes, yeah. It's nothing like Chicago. It's freezing in the winter. <laughs> oh wait, Chicago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that snowstorm? Mm -hmm. Pretty bad, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, we are here in San Antonio at our physical therapy conference. That is our national conference. And we have decided to start something going. And that way we can connect with some other females that are out there in this world. And what we heard was your sanity calling. We are two gals in a glass half full. I'm Dr. Bobby, um, and I'm a physical therapist. I am a single girl that has two dogs, very spoiled, very expensive. And this is Dr. Jess. That's who I am, and I'm also a physical therapist. Guess that's how we met, you know, a little commonality there. And I'm just trying to make it in this world, raising two crazy boys. So let's see what we can explore today. We are gonna be talking about why are we two gals and a glass half full? So, Dr. Bobby, what's in your glass? Tonight, in my fancy coffee cup, because my plastic cup was taken by the cleaning service, um, I have a Cab Savion. And I also have the same Cab Savion. It's from CVS down the street. Actually, with a um, the screw cap bottle, you know, the kind of, that, so you don't have to buy the wine opener. You can just, like, take it off and then, you know. Ease, ease, ease. cheap. Yeah. Cheap. Again, it's cold. I'm not going out. I don't think so. No. <laughs> but why? Why glass half full? Why, why? Why that? Yeah. You know, I I like to look at life as there's a lot of struggle, but it's always half full. There's always some good things going on. There's always ways to improve. Always things to celebrate. Exactly. So tonight, even though it's cold, even though we had some pretty difficult travel to get here, <laughs> very difficult travel uh, to get here. Difficult. She got a snowstorm. My plane, uh, got, I got, er, what's it got? The pilot came on overhead. Uh, we are going to be landing in Dallas. There's a part of the plane that broke. Uh, don't worry, it's minor, but we can't make it's the 30 just minutes. It's the engine. It's just the it engine. Just the engine. No we couldn't, it yeah. was minor, but we couldn't make the 30 minutes from Dallas to San Antonio. We had to stop in Dallas, so. Yeah. So we're just making it in life, and we think that there's other people out there that are also doing what we're doing, just trying to make it in life. So each time we meet, we're going to be trying to discuss different topics that people might find interesting, interview different individuals that have things to say that seem important, maybe helpful, and ways that we can just try and challenge, challenge each other and move forward a little bit. And one little thing that I think she forgot to tell you is that she is a pretty awesome mom of two kids. I am. Yeah, two boys. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> they keep me busy. <laughs> so each time we meet, we're going to be ending with a bit of a challenge. So tonight, what the challenge is, is, to, is to write down what this quote means to you. So we've got a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. Okay, so she says, remember always that you not only have the right to be an individual, you have an obligation to be one. So find us on social media, think about what that means, the right to be an individual. And let's further explore what else we have that's going to be in store. Yeah. Here's cheers. Salud. Salud. Yeah.